Hello everyone. In this lecture, I want to talk about uh, how to upload the source data to the right location in the Jupyter Cloud Computing Platform. We also want to be able to find this source data after we upload it to Jupyter. This is a very important question because before the data analytics, we must import data to the Jupyter Platform so that we can perform data analytics. This question has been befuddling me for a very long time. I couldn't find uh, where we should uh, upload data to from the Pandas library documentation. I couldn't find uh, the solution on knowledge sharing website such as stockoverflow.com either. After a lot of experiments and uh, pulling off a lot of my hair, Finally, I found the solution. I want to talk about this topic so that everybody can upload the data to the right location and to be able to find the source data in Jupyter. First, you want to open the web page. It is try.jupyter.org. When we use Jupyter for a very long time in the future, you should be very familiar to this web address. After you open this web page, you want to click Data Sets folder. Data Sets. Inside of Data Sets, you have another Data Sets. Click on this folder. This is the right location you want to upload the source data to. After you open the other Data Sets folder, click upload button in the upper right corner and then you want to select the source file from your computer in this case let's choose fitnessapp.csv and then click open then you can click upload now your source data is already uploaded to the cloud computing platform now we can go back to the home page of Jupyter. We can start using Python. Let's go to the home page and then click uh, Welcome to Python. We want to use the Python platform. Let's create a new cell. Click uh, the plus button in the upper left corner. As I mentioned in the previous lecture, if you want to use Pandas library, you have to use import pandas. After you create this statement, your Python code is able to access to pandas library. But sometimes you can see people are using as pd. pd is just an alias of the pandas library. What those people wanted to do here is we want to create a variable called pd. And then we want to import all the functions from the pandas library into the pd alias or the pd variable. And then in the future, you can use all the functions by using the pd variable instead of uh, pandas. Next, we want to create a new statement. Let's create a variable called a df. df represents a data frame. We'll talk about the data frame later in this semester. But at this moment, just remember df is a variable. Equals to pd. We want to use the pandas library. pd dot read underscore csv. Parentheses. Between parentheses, we want to specify two important factors. First, where the source data is and uh, the name of the source data. We want to type in two double quotes. Between the double quotes, we want to identify the directory of your source file in Jupyter. And also we want to tell Jupyter the name of this source file. Do you remember where we saved the source data fitnessapp.csv? Yes. It is inside of a data sets, data sets folder, right? So here we want to tell Jupyter 
we save the, the source file in data sets and then slash another data sets slash fitness app dot csv by doing this Jupyter is able to look for the source data in the right location if you don't tell the directory of the source file Jupyter will get lost let's jump out of the double quote and then type in a comma the second parameter should be SEP equals to two double quotes between two double quotes we want to type in comma this means the data stored in the file fitnessapp.csv are separated by commas and then let's create a new statement let's type in df we want to see the final result do you remember how we can execute python calls in Jupyter? yes press shift key and enter key at the same time now you can see we have imported the source data into Jupyter Planform.